is to eat the rainbow. Uh, if you're eating brown foods at every meal, and I like chocolate, I love chocolate, but you don't want to have brown foods for every meal. You want to have yellow, you want to have green, you want to have uh, orange, you want to have red, you want to have purple. Uh, the purple cabbage, the plum, uh, the acai is purple, grapes are purple, uh, the red colors, the, the red pepper is more nutritious than the green pepper, believe it or not. Do you know what red pepper is? It's a white green pepper. The red pepper is just a white green pepper. It has more nutrition. And they charge more for red peppers. Even the farmers, they have fewer of them. But the red pepper is I think it's useful to only eat the uh, red pepper because Green pepper is not ready for, for packaging and transportation reason. Mm -hmm. Most of the time they would pick it earlier than if, if you let it sit in the wine mm -hmm. to grow pepper, it will eventually turn red. Uh, red. red. And that's when it's the best. Yeah, that's when it's the best. That's when it's the best. Yeah, that's why we would like to grow our own food as much as possible. Right. Or shop at the farmer's market. Help yourself make some more energy bars here. Uh, do I have to cook, cook protein to make it edible? Well, if you heat protein more than 150 degrees, you denature it. And in the medical literature, it says the protein, the protein becomes twisted, and then the body cannot digest the twisted protein molecules. And that's what is contributing to some of people's health problems. It's not eating just too much protein, but too much protein. Denature protein. Denature protein is one of the problems. And uh, this is written up in the medical literature. I have 4,000 duty uh, medical nutrition research papers, all dated 2010, published in journals in the United States, Italy, and other countries. And a doctor, Dr. Gerber, has uh, put these on two CDs. And he's condensed them. One's about protein, the one's about milk, the one's about research that was done. And he found that somebody, he pulled this together, that if you have green tea, which had uh, some very good nutrients in it, and the Japanese love their green tea, the Chinese have green tea, and we have some green tea here if you'd like it. If you add the white stuff to it, you lose all the benefits that were in the green tea. The double blind study tested people drinking green tea, drinking green tea with milk or cream, and when they added the milk or cream, they lost all the benefits of the green tea. It's been a double blind study that shows that it does not help you to drink your tea with milk. I know in England you drink milk with tea, right? Right, because they make it like a coffee. It's, it's strong, very but strong. But that's not the green tea. No, it's not it's green black tea. tea. It's black tea. Right. Uh, I avoid fried protein. It's denatured, and denatured protein is more likely to be carcinogenic. That doesn't mean it is, but it's more likely to be carcinogenic. Mm -hmm. uh, and nutrition myth that we just have to go over and. and this is a difficult one for many people. Uh, drinking cow's milk for strong bones is an absolute myth. It's been proven and proven in uh, research studies that it is not going to produce strong bones. The literature shows, I think it's 21 countries, and the countries that consume the most cow's milk have the most broken bones. Women have the most hip fractures in the countries that consume the most milk. And that's Scandinavia, and the, uh, Japan consumes the lowest amount of food. The direct correlation, and uh, I have a, a chart which I've used on this. Okay, this, this is, it's hard to believe we are in cause of controversy based upon published research comparing protein consumption and fracture rates in 16 countries, reported in 34 separate surveys published in 29 peer-reviewed publications. That's a quote. I've got, to, and I think this must uh, T. Colin Campbell. Americans consume more cow's milk and its products per person than the most than most populations of the world. So Americans should have wonderfully strong bones, right? Unfortunately not. A recent study showed that American women aged 50 and older, this is 50 and older, 
have one of the highest rates of hip fractures in the world, and this is one of the charts. Uh, researchers report animal protein increases the acid in the blood and tissue, resulting in calcium being taken from the bones, not being added to the bones. It takes the calcium from the bones. This weakens the bones and likely increases the risk of fracture. Yale University School of Medicine, I assume that's a reliable source, researchers report 